Let's practice multiplying by multiples of 10. In our examples today, we will see two models. This model is one cube. It stands for one. Over here, this is 10 ones stacked on top of each other. This is a 10 rod. Our first problem says seven times one. So seven times one is seven ones. Five, six, seven. Seven times one equals seven. What about seven times 10? This is multiplying seven 10 rods. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So seven times 10 equals 70. What about three times five? We can use loops and groups as a model. Three loops with five ones in each loop. This is five, 10, 15 ones. What about three times 50? We can also show three loops, but instead of adding five ones, we will add five tens. Now, how many are there? 50 plus 50 equals 100. What if we add 50 more? 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Three times five equals 150. Four times six, loops and groups. We have four loops with six ones in each loop. How much is this? Six, 12, 18, 24. Four times six equals 24. Four times 60. So instead of multiplying six ones, we're multiplying six tens. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, four times. How much is four times 60? Can we use what we know about four times six to answer four times 60? Four times six ones equals 24 ones. Four times six tens equals 24 tens. So we can write 240 because this zero in the ones place holds the place for this to show tens, 24 tens. Seven times 30. Can we use what we know about seven times three to solve seven times 30? What is seven? times three ones. Seven times three equals 21. But what about seven times three tens? Since there's a zero here in the ones place, allowing three to be in the tens place, we can also add a zero over here. So this can show 21 tens. Seven times 30 equals 210. What about five times 60? We can multiply five times six, and five times six equals 30. So we can write 30, but this isn't just five times six ones, this is five times six tens. So we can put a zero to hold the place, so five times 60 equals 30 tens, or 300. Let's look at two more problems, 65 times 10. We could do 65 ones, that would be 65. But this is 65 10 rods, and 65 10 rods is 650. What about 10 times 19? This is the same thing except for 10 is over here on top. 19 ones would be 19. But this is 19 tens, so we have a zero, so that way 19 can start right here in the tens place. 10 times 19 equals 19 tens, which is 190. Multiplying by tens is similar to multiplying by ones, but instead of multiplying by one cube, you're multiplying by a group of 10 or a 10 rod. So there's always a zero 
in the ones place to allow the next number to start here in the tens place. You got this.